Hey, what's up guys? This is Luke with the Live Great Lifestyle. So today I want to talk to you about training your core. Um, so most people when they go and they think about working their core, training their abs, they do a lot of the folding exercises or the ground-based core exercises. Things like V-ups, leg lifts, um, leg flutters, toe touches, bicycles. Um, and clients, when I work with them, they're kind of surprised to find out we actually don't do much of that. It's not to say you shouldn't do any of it, but particularly for people who spend a lot of time at the desk, you're really just leveraging um, mechanically advantaged muscles like your psoas and your, and your hip flexors. Your abs are still going to burn, but it can even help, um, it can even strengthen some dysfunctional positions and kind of pull you out of what would be a good physique. So when we think about training the core, really, we want to think about the core as uh, a strong core is more about being able to brace and maintain your spine and your pelvis in a, in a specific neutral position. So having a strong core allows you to do heavier deadlifts, allows you to do heavier split squats, etc. If you do want to do the floor-based uh, core exercises, there's a really common mistake that I see tons of people make, and today I'm going to show you what that is. So if you are going to do the V-ups and uh, the bicycles and all of those things, Here's a little tip that'll help you get more out of it and uh, not waste your time. So, you naturally have this arch in your spine. So, you'll notice there's this natural arch in your low back. So, anytime we're doing these floor-based exercises, we're gonna get rid of that arch or we're gonna push our low back to the floor. My shoulders and head are already up off of the floor. This position already there's tons of abdominal get engagement versus this, nothing's going on. So the goal is we're actually gonna maintain this contact the whole time. Whether it's a via, we're gonna stop at the bottom and maintain that contact and that ab tension. Whether it's leg flutters, maintaining that contact and that ab tension. Toe to hand touches, same idea. Maintain that contact because that's where the work is. This is the tension. Most people what they'll do is they'll give themselves this break at the bottom by adding that arch back in. So it would look like this. I can do that all day long. The work is maintaining that position there and coming up. That I'm actually feeling. Now there's an exercise called hollow body rocks that um, you can use to kind of build up some of that strength and learn that position. So it looks like this. Knees are bent and you're just going to rock, maintaining that low back position. Now you'll notice my body moves as one unit. Over time, you can start extending limbs and lengthening or um, increasing the lever until you're in a full hollow body rock. And now my abs are really burning, but more importantly, they're contracting in that braced and holding position which is really more relevant to what you know, having a strong core is. So if you're going to do floor-based exercises, which remember, you don't have to do many of them, uh, floor-based core exercises, particularly if you're somebody who works at a desk, I would tell you to not do very much of that at all. If you're going to, make sure you maintain that low back position so you at least maximize your time. You won't be able to do near as much, but you're actually going to get more engagement, and that's the whole point of working out is to engage as much muscle as possible. So that's the tip of the day. I'm Luke with the Live Great Lifestyle. Have a good one. I'll catch you next time.